Hello everyone, welcome back to Power System State Estimation. As we have learned to calculate the Jacobian matrix, we are ready to start estimation. There are different iterative methods. The basic one is the honest Gauss Newton method or the weighted least square estimator. A simplification of the weighted least square estimator is the dishonest Gauss Newton method, or, which is also known as constant Jacobian method. And the fast decouple state estimator is the simplification of the constant Jacobian method. In the weighted least squared estimator, we will start with voltage magnitude equals 1 and theta equals 0. Using these values, we will calculate the estimated measurements z hat and the Jacobian matrix H. Then we will calculate the difference between the actual measurement and the estimated measurement. Using del z, with this equation, we will get del x. We will add this del x with the current x to get the new x. After each iteration, we will check whether del x is too small. If it is small, then we will stop. The process has converged. If it is not small, then we'll go ahead with this new x, we'll calculate the estimated measurements and the Jacobian matrix and go ahead with this thing until the process converges completely. Here, W denotes the weight matrix. It is a diagonal matrix and each element, each diagonal element shows the weight of the measurements. In the dishonest gauss newton method or the constant Jacobian method, the Jacobian matrix will be kept constant. It will not update. It will be calculated at d equals 1 and theta equals 0. And then these, pro these steps will be repeated till it converges. It is not mandatory that we have to keep h constant throughout the process. It can be upda updated at a regular interval. For example, say every 10 iterations, we want to update them. As the calculation of the Jacobian matrix is difficult and time consuming, so we can keep it constant for some iterations or for estimation of one set of measurements. In the fast decouple state estimator, like the constant Jacobian method, H will not be updated. Moreover, we are going to separate the whole Jacobian matrix in four parts, P theta, P V, Q theta, and Q V. The elements of P V and Q theta are set, set to zero, and we do two separate estimation for P theta and Q V. For example, the example we have seen we had the first part of the Jacobian matrix like this. It will be separated in four parts, P theta, P V, Q theta, and Q V. The elements of P V and Q theta will be set to zero, and we will do two separate estimation using P theta, and we will get theta from that, and Q V, and we will get V from, v from that. Now let's come to DC state estimation. In DC state estimation, we take the voltage measurements to be 1. So we are not going to estimate them. The state vector consists of only the theta. H is calculated for V equals 1 and theta equals 0. And only the real powers are taken as measurements. And this is not an iterative process. We use this equation only once and we get the estimated values of the thetas. That's it for state estimation. If you have any question, you can ask me at ashfaq.eee at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.